Today we take you inside the philosophy and creativity that fuels liquid interiors. From air to light temperature, this is more than just aesthetics. This is Design Asia. My name is Rowena Gonzalez and I'm the founder and principal at Liquid Interiors. Liquid Interiors is a design firm rooted in advocating healthy living and environmental sustainability. Two years after I started interior design, my interior design firm, um, my nephew, Luca, he, he became a cancer survivor at five years old. It changed everything. Um, I learned so much about the triggers of cancers in interiors, and I saw my sister slowly take the advice from naturopaths and change her, her home. And I found that the well building standard had about 80% overlap with what my sister was doing to help maintain her son's health. And then it became my mission to create interiors that no longer had ne have negative side effects on human health. When we look at spaces, we'll first try to make sure that mold cannot grow. So we look at laundry management and how to reduce the amount of moisture in the air with um, air conditioning and dehumidification. And then um, we'll look at the building materials to make sure that toxins don't enter into the space. So we specify non-toxic or low VOC paints and glues um, and furniture. In Hong Kong, most of the homes just, they have split type air conditioners. So the air actually, you will never get fresh air into your space unless you open a window. Um, and so what we will do in our, in our homes is we actually bring purified fresh air from outside. The last thing to do is actually to um, add air purification. And the types of air purifiers that we use are, are top of the line. Um, we will use the same air purifiers that, that you'll find in the Hong Kong hospitals. Living in cities brings on a lot of uh, increased levels of stress and exposure to pollutants, both outdoor and indoor. We look at access to fresh food, light that balances your circadian rhythm, so light that mimics the color temperature of the sun and gives you energy when you want to have energy and lets you fall asleep when it's time to sleep. And then at night, while you're sleeping, we always encourage 100% blackout blinds because you'll have the best sleep in complete darkness. When I was in school, university, I had one teacher that, that told me that by the time my kids were in university that all the rooftops in cities would be full of trees and while everyone was just like that's crazy for me something lit up inside of me i knew that i wanted to be a part of this change as interior designers it's our ethical responsibility to show our clients a more sustainable way of building my ask or my wish for future interior designers out there is to find your purpose and see what gives you that spark um, to make a more sustainable future. Mm -hmm.